Hey, welcome back to FTL Multiverse. We're still playing with the Blarg ship. Uh, let's see if I can remember what it was. Blar, Blarget? Blar, Blar, Blargist? Blar, Blargist. Or Blarg... I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, before we kick things off, we do have a challenge wheel to spin. <laughs> we'll see what it gives. Overly protective. Overly protective. Is. Must spend leftover scrap on repairs at every store. So if you go to a store, we buy stuff, and if you have scrap left, we have to repair to full. More of a nuisance than a challenge. I guess this would be way worse once you get to the end of the sector. It's still gonna annoy the flipping heck out of me. So this is gonna be a quote-unquote challenge. It just annoys me rather than actually interferes. Which is probably good because we don't know what we're gonna be seeing there. Um, yeah, I guess it's the complete opposite. Um, Alright. Um, that can go... By the way, keep in mind that there is a channel point redemption to add challenges to the wheel. The more we have in there, the better, right? Overly protective. I can write. All right. So technically, no. Well, we're going to another nebula, so this challenge is void now. <laughs> technically, I could play that card. I'm not going to. Jump to the Royal Nebula. Are you sure to wish to travel here? Below is the Atlas entry for the sector. Name Royal Slug Nebula. Hostile Dawn Faction Slug klepto Kleptocracy. <laughs> kleptocracy. Nice. For those unaware, Klepto refers to stealing stuff. Right? Kleptomania is like a. Let's see. Kleptomania. Uh, an impulse controlled sword that results in an irresistible urge to steal. Still, I would think the slugs would have a. wouldn't have royalty. They would have a. you know what? I just. Republic. Slugs would be a republic, right? Merchant Republic. Take yourself to Slug Royal Family, which currently just consists of Captain Knights. Slug now gave you these coordinates to come watch the spectacle, which likely can't mean anything good. Warning rerouting means you will miss any quest that would have spawned in this sector. Well, it's not that I have much of a choice at this point. Yep, let's go. <clears throat> According to Slug now, this sector should currently be underway with the Crown Theft Festival. Knights will likely be hiding somewhere at the Royal Palace, so if you're hoping to watch the fireworks, you'll have to head there. Guarding the entrance of the ship, unlike you've seen, as black as the abyss around it. The ship hails you as soon as you jump in. Now, why would a Federation ship come here so soon after the fugitive and trailer slug like returns from the dead? Very suspicious, yes. Yeah, how well, crazy. Slug chuckles. You forget, Captain, I can read your mind. Nope, because I got a tinfoil hat on. Now, we can't have... A Accomplices to traitors running about. Knights would kill me. Guess we'll have to kill you first. Can I go up against this thing? Probably. And there goes the SB straight away. Alright, so that's going to be a no then. You were just designed to be annoying, weren't you? Yeah, we're just gonna hightail it. I think. Yeah, especially with that going on now.
Later, losers. The clairvoyants are primarily in favor of Slocknock, but despite this, it seems the ship here has chosen protecting their homeland over letting a foreign federation ship rumored to be supporting their king running about. So we're fighting the good guys now, even though we're the good guys? Yeah, this all makes sense. Oh, good, good choice on the hack target there, buddies. Uh, your missile weapon seems to be down. See how many engines you got in there, buddy. Eh, not too much. Yeah. No, you can't see the things you can't see. Well, let's light it up then. He would be on to all of their trickery. Can't have that. Wonder if they're already foresaw that we won't be accepting their surrender. What do you think? <laughs> that's the thing that kind of bugs me with clairvoyance. That we can see into the future, except stuff that's actually useful, like the lottery numbers. Yeah, people would start wondering if you won the lottery like four times in a row, but if you only do it like once, if it's a big one, then, you know, you're just really lucky. Maybe it's a moral thing. Like, ooh, we don't use our powers for self-gain. Hey, you're just an idiot. Found out he was an imposter because he couldn't see Jack Shite. They're good at dealing with fighters, though. You gotta give them that. Unfortunately for them, I'm really good at starting him. So yeah. Am I missing a med bay or something in this place? And I must admit, I had a brief moment back in episode one or two where I thought that this was actually piloting, so... I was like, hmm, there's nobody in this room and I have evasion. How is that possible? Like, oh, wait. So did you guys see this coming? I see no reason to light to lie right now we're kind of screwed unless you let us go we'll give you some junk if you agree no you see that one coming no okay going what appears to be a mixture of slime and mashed up slug intestines again yuck but it smells delicious uh how do we even get to the palace through this way okay A slug vessel nearby is approaching a planet without any signs of civilization. Can't imagine what they'd be doing unless they're hiding from something or something or know something you don't. Hey boys. Oh, we're here to partake in a crown theft festival. We're told by some lovely fellows in a black and red ship that this is the place the contest is being held. What?
What would you mean? Oh, that, oh I see. It appears to have been played for fools. Thank you for saving. Man, if I miss out on that just because I didn't kill him. Yeah, but I could I can hardly imagine that like they could send something like a planet away, you know? Okay, if I'm pretend I'm a slug. Just go with it. It would be hard for me to sense if somebody would be on Mars, I think. Like, if it's like... I think it would be even really difficult to sense if somebody's on, like, the next city over, if you think about it. I mean, if your capabilities are that good that you could spot something from, like, 100 kilometers away, that would be, like, a constant bombardment of impulses, wouldn't it? Unless you can turn it off. Grab a pill and burp. Knock out, we're done here. <clears throat> sure, just leave your buddy behind. <clears throat> Brilliant. Yeah, so he's like a hacker type thing, and we know those can go through doors. I don't want my torch to go out. Yeah, they're not the brightest bunch, are they? Yep, and now they're deciding that it's still worth more to... Okay, well... Maybe. Um, my sensors are not working, so I can't check on their cloaking all too well. Go! Dang it, lads. Oh, he's my control now? Ugh. Why do I even bother? Also, what are you just doing in there? Oh, now he just... Now he started shooting. What is going on here? Should have foreseen bringing a fire extinguisher. Well, I mean, I, I did, 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 they did, but not a, you know, something better than a fire extinguisher. I mean. My insults can use some work at times. Slugs do need to breathe, though. Yeah, chemical fires can. Or like, f um, uh, what do they call it? Like, uh, Oxidization can happen, which is when a fuse can produce its own oxygen in order to stay lit. Uh, 
that's not really burning water. If you throw sodium into water, it's the sodium that's actually exploding. It's the, well, exploding might be a bit of a big word, but it like superheats the water, which causes it to vaporize or something. Throwing sodium in water is pretty nifty, though. Finding the gasping corpse of the slug captain quivering on the ground, he utters one last word, then collapses and dies. Alright. You think we're gonna be duped going there? So how do we prep for this? We don't know what to expect. I'm gonna get a bit more of that going. Gonna get a buffer in that. Uh, level two doors is fine. We can always hack teleporter if uh, it becomes too big of a deal. All right, let's check the palace. In the next step, now just kidding. There's the water and hydrogen and oxygen that fuses the hydrogen. Is it even doable? Can you split? Well, plasma is weird. I don't know enough about that. Hey there, Scottish Pingu. Um, yeah, I've got my weapon. Woo! It's doing great. We're also in a in a unique sector, the slug, the Royal Slug Nebula. Right, let's go see what's out there. You know. Whoa! Cool. You arrived at the Royal Palace at last. Slug infrastructure isn't always the most stunning, but you must admit the view in front of you is magnificent. It's no wonder Knights is so reluctant to give up his crown. As you approach the massive overhang, you see signs of struggle. It appears Lockmark has already made his move on the palace along with a fleet of loyal clairvoyant vessels. They're idiots. The clairvoyants are idiots. <clears throat> yeah, we'll stick around. Grab some popcorn. Slockmark has begun speaking to the crown, which consists of both eager supporters protesting against the knights and the well-armed knights holding them back. Give up knights, come out of that palace and take part in the same festival every other king before you has eagerly participated in. You stole that crown by cheating, might I remind you, but if you're truly the brave fighter you claim to be, then surely you can protect your throne. Um, first time, yeah, it's the first time I actually used it. We use it to replace the uh, ion it started with. Not that I wasn't happy with the ion we started with, but you know. The one was going okay, so I thought, well, why not use a weapon that's named for my input? I believe that's the one, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's see how this goes, right? Slugnut urges knights to come out several more times and gives up and waits. There's a moment of silence, finally followed by knight's raspy voice over the intercom. Fine, shriveled, pea-colored, smelly son of a bee. I'll come out, all right. A few minutes later, Knight's signature ship, the Black Raven, comes bursting out of one of the hangars, firing directly at Snoglock's much larger cruiser. And immediately, chaos breaks out. Fight, 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 fight. Battle around you seems to have consumed the landscape for as far as you can see. Both sides seem to be equal in size. You could easily get involved and influence the outcome of this brawl. But who is the right choice? It's Slugnock, he seems reasonable enough, and he might be able to bring the slugs to a glory age or a knight's. Seems like the king of slugs you know would want. Who are we to partake in these matters? So... We're going to help Slogmog, right? At least this first time. I kind of want to see this whole thing play out. Let's hate Slogmog. Wait, that's the Black Raven? Oh, lord. Look at me being so... Scared of it. The Slogmog in charge of kleptocracy might finally be able to progress past this stage of barbaric thievery. The Federation aims for a better galaxy and you'll be damned if you don't do something to see it through. Ok, 
Please walk through doors. Yep. <laughs> so we're facing a ship that I don't think can harm us. The only problem is their borders. So we board, uh, hack their teleporter, and uh, yeah, this is basically a sitting duck. So if you could come out of your cloaking, that would be great. Almost done with your cloaky thingy. Ah, crud. And this is where we go. How about new? Yeah. Then again, like royal stuff is usually meant to be classy rather than actually functional, right? Stylish, but not much else, I guess. So if you could uh, hit this shot, that would be great. Thank you. Why do I suddenly expect ASB fire support? Why am I always so paranoid? Also, what the hell is Slocknog doing at the moment? Is, not, is he the guy that's now holding a bag of popcorn and going like, yeah, this is awesome. He might as well be, you know. Okay, let's take away your... Medbay? I kind of want to get the crew kill on this. We don't know yet. We volunteer to jump in and, you know, prevent Slocknock from having all the fun. Hey, he might be out saving poor innocent slug orphans who are being dragged into this unwillingly you don't know that chances are slim that's what he's doing but you know benefit of the doubt and all that jazz i'm still waiting for the sb fire support to come in this just doesn't seem <clears throat> And are finally starting to get low on health. Uh, I'm still not going to do too much damage. <laughs> they even walk through cloaked doors. Um, hacked doors. Makes sense, I guess. It's a bit weird to see happen, though. Alright, let's see how this plays out. 
The Black Raven has fallen and Knights is now surely dead. He might have cloned himself. The Black Raven crashes into the lake. The fighting suddenly seems to come to a halt. Laying your ship next to the clairvoyant cruiser where Slothrock smiles and shakes your hand. I of course could have done it on my own, but thank you, Captain. This is twice now you've gone out of your way to help me. May the stars shine bright just between us, a hey, friend. Once that corpse has been recovered, he is moved to a hearse ship for later. The crown, too, is recovered. Broken, but miraculously not obliterated. The slugs gather together to discuss what to do next. Slugman appears surprised that he isn't included with the crowd. As he attempts to speak to them, an angry member of the crowd speaks up. You have no right to be here, always spinning that story about knights cheating or whatever, but in the end, you still lost. Sure, you were a better king than knights, but you still just cost us the lives of dozens of our fellow slugs just for your little coup. They have a point. Shouldn't they have seen this coming? I'm starting to feel like them seeing things coming should be a common theme at this point. Also, there weren't a dozen people on that ship. Anyway. The words seem to resonate with nearly everyone present, and soon a mob is formed, marching towards Slocknog, demanding he be punished. The only reason no one suggests executing him is because no one has any clue what to collect in his stead. If Slogdog wants you to join, I'll let him. We only have six people on board. Alright, come on. Let's do it proper work, right? Surprisingly, the revolutionary idea is not immediately rejected. Persuaded by recent events, the slugs seem to generally consider selling their differences and staging government reform for the better good. After one member of the crowd inquires, then what shall happen to Slocknock? Well, he's not allowed to... Execute? <laughs> no, I mean... Why is this even an option? Hey guys, you should be more peaceful and uh, just do it, you know, the old-fashioned way with a proper vote. We'll kill that guy, though. <laughs> well, if it is a choice between death or working aboard the ship who has worked so valiantly to assist me, I think I shall prefer not dying. Farewell to all of you. I hope you rot without me. Snorkelok sharply turns and slitters onto your ship. Hell? Sir Slocknog. Slocknog might have once been king, but he'd rather be alive and part of your crew than dead in a ditch somewhere. So all enemy crew in the room for a long period of time, but loses, tele loses telekinetic telepathic powers and do does less damage. He uses triple the speed from all sources. Heals friendly crew. Wow. You'd imagine he'd be awesome at stuff, right? How quickly does he heal, though? You got a pet med bay! Woo! That is quite the slug, yeah. I kind of want to put him on piling just because. It, yeah, it was weird, but what did you expect? It's a slug thing. I'm going to put this guy on piling just for laughs. Somehow the idea amuses me, so. You could put him in here and he's going to act as a med <laughs> Who says you can't have a med bay and a teleport or clone bay? Dang it. Well, yeah, he is, but it's not that I'm really going to need a portable med bay all that often. This just amuses me. 
I don't know why it's not even that funny, but... <sighs> Man ship jumps in, weapons blazing, it's not used for slugs to attack in such a blunt manner, but judging from the strange flight patterns of the ships, they're likely drunk. What's up that plays in your favor? So can we still encounter ships that are like either holding a grudge tower that went down or still referencing the crown theft thing? So assuming that's an anti-bio ion. Well, I have a bio ion my own. They, once these two weapons collide, it will be the end of the universe. It probably won't be, but, you know. Drama Queen. He's getting good at the whole piloting thing real quick, isn't he? <clears throat> we do have 42 evasion and they are in missiles, so... If you actually have to ask if that makes a difference, then uh, what are you still doing here? It's not an instead of, it's both. So uh, friendly units will passively heal but if you click this button it'll stun everyone in the room so yeah as uh, blaze said it's not an if it's a both you know for drunk slugs they are pretty darn coordinated That's a thing you could do. Like if you have like four people fighting in here, you can have Slock to go like, oops, done, and then just keep going. That is an option, yeah. But if he stays in the room, he'll, you know, he'll, he'll still heal your fighting crew, so. Yeah, that's lock knock level from one fight. Meanwhile, we're still trying to torch people. Highly unsuccessfully. Stupid medbay. Usually, why are all these guys like pro firefighters? And there's the medbay again. Yeah, that'll do it. Maybe we should start hacking med bays, huh? Lizzie, that one coming, hey, you clairvoyant B words. Well, one of them just <laughs> wandered out of the room, so. Sucks to be me, I guess. But he's not escaping. <clears throat> Man, these fights are taking freaking forever. He's gotta be close to death, right? There he goes. <coughs> G 
Jabba doesn't buy the voice suddenly speaks to you. Great. From behind the saboteur on cloaks wearing a pin of the night logo. You're an outsider, right? The one slot knock sent. Normally I'd kill you on the spot, but I think we can work together here. There's some pesky reformists nearby who are trying to overhaul our government. We want them dead, kill them, I pay you what? You do know slot knocks on our ship, right? The whole thing is so last year. Sure. Small moon with a slug colony where several slugs are protesting, led by a rogue clairvoyant vessel. Take out their leader and the rest will likely shut up. I don't care, we'll just shoot everything. Easy going. Want something there? Just point me in the right direction. God dang it. That's when they dodge. Well, I think I just screwed it again, didn't I? At least the hack landed. Can I just set them on fire already? Nope. Finally. Yeah, well. I was checking if there's still something going on on my ship or not. Seriously, that's like the third time I mess up. Oh Let's just take away their cloaking. I can't be trusted to deal with that properly, it seems. Yeah, that's a brilliant move. Um, who needs a heal? Basically everyone. All right. What are you doing in there, buddy? You having fun? Yeah. Enjoying life right now?
rest of the colony is terrified. Please, all we want is peace. The kleptocracy is so needlessly cruel, regardless of the king. We want to progress slow society into something the rest of the galaxy can look at with more than distaste. Kill the saboteur, free the colony. You draw your blaster and quickly spin around to blast the saboteur. They're faster at first, but quickly get lost in the unfamiliar corridors of your ship and are dispatched with relative ease. No future night vessel will likely return to prey on the colony. They're free for now and reward you in somewhat unconventional way. What a shield upgrade. Well, that's wonderful. That's like, what, 180 scrap or something? That's not 180. How much is it for this final upgrade? It's a lot, though, isn't it? Like, one... 100? Yeah, 100. Right, you're fully healed. Slug not get back. You can work your miracles from inside that room. Okay, everybody but... Still haven't found a dang store in this place either. I don't know whether slug beams aboard your ship, branching a long sword. On guard ye, I challenge you to a duel. Not fatal, of course. Defeat me and I will give you all the scrap my ship carries. Lose and I'll take all of your fuel. Decline and I shall leave without another... Yeah, sure. So now you're managed to duel, they give their all and match the storm of slug. Alright, the deal's a deal, though I don't like the way you played. Here's my scrap. What did you expect was gonna happen? Like we were gonna send the NG. <laughs> God, for a bunch of clairvoyance, most of you guys are straight up idiots. The new coalition consists of slugs among other races, but it's not terribly off to see their ship so deep in slug space. Oh, well, that's their problem. You are never safe. Never. <clears throat> um, I think that's two shots. What is that thing? What is that? Is that a crystal? Well, yeah, that's a missile. But what is this thing? I hope we can have it run to the med bay so we can actually see the thing. Okay, so it's a crystal or a rock. Could be a fancy crystal. I hope it is, otherwise it's a rockman, and that would mean he's fireproof, which would make this whole ordeal a lot more difficult. Okay, the suzerain is trying to... Uh, rock or crystal? It's hard to tell. Well, you're going to be a bit of a problem then. Um, I know the rocks have quite a few. I think they have those Yogg Laws, the one that can start fires. I kind of want to see one of them go to Medbay though, which eventually they will. Either through, well, probably through suffocation. Okay, he's going, he's going, he's going, and it's... I still can't see what it is.
Uh, it's a crystal, I think. It's a bit too pointy, if that makes sense. Crystal Vengeance? Oh no! This doesn't look like a normal mantis either, and it's also... well, it's dead now. That wasn't the suzerain, I think. No oxygen for you. Uh, this one looks like a normal rock. Could you stop trying to fix the goddamn oxygen? Oh, so this guy doesn't seem like he likes to suffocate. I'm not sure what he's doing. Well, it was a it was a crystal. Cause he went pop. You don't seem to use that all that often. Not so sure what he was trying to do though. Could you just suffocate now? Or are you like one of those rocks that don't need to breathe either? Jeez, that took a freaking ever. Okay, so as far as I can tell, we are 47 minutes into this episode and we've managed to do this. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you're still in your series. Hope to see you guys all next episode. Bye, everyone.